In the previous video, we had a discussion about what to test and what not to test with React testing library. In this video, let's get started with the very first core concept in React testing library, which is queries. Now we know that every test we write generally involves the following basic steps. Render the component, find an element rendered by the component, assert against the element found in step two, which will pass or fail the test. Now we are already comfortable with steps one and three. To render the component, we use the render method from React testing library. For assertion, we use expect passing in a value and combine it with a matcher function from jest or jest dom. However, finding an element rendered by the component is something we haven't closely looked at. Let me tell you, helping us find an element is React testing library's responsibility. And in fact, a core API that RTL provides is to help us easily find an element rendered by a component. This is where the concept of queries come into picture. Queries are the methods that testing library provides to find elements on the page. There are several types of queries that RTL provides. To find a single element on the page, we have getBy, queryBy, and findBy methods. To find multiple elements on the page, we have getAllBy, queryAllBy, and findAllBy methods. Now you might be wondering, what is up with the two dots at the end of each method name? Well, each of these methods need to be combined with a suffix to form the actual query. The suffix can be one of role, label text, placeholder text, text, display value, alt text, title, and finally test ID. It is important that you understand the behavior of each of these methods along with the individual suffix as it is fundamental to React testing library. So let's spend some quality time to understand more about this topic. In this section, let's focus only on the getBy class of queries to find an element in the document. GetBy class of queries return the matching node for a query and throw a descriptive error if no elements match or if more than one match is found. Let's start with getBy role in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.